Hello, I'm Matt Cuff from TheHouse.com, and this is a 2019 LibTech Attack Banana Snowboard. Um, it's an all-mountain freestyle deck uh, that's for beginner to advanced level riders that want a little bit more of a uh, kind of a, a charger of a board on a little bit lower of a price point. It's made in the U.S. It has zero uh, hazardous waste uh, in the manufacturing process, and it's a board that does really well kind of everywhere. It's kind of like uh, the Skate Banana but a little bit more for all mountain in aggression. It's a, a, a twin style deck. And I don't want to say true twin because outside the contact points, the nose has a little bit more of a point than the rounded off tail. But other than that, inside the contact points, the board is a true twin. Um, has the same width, nose and tail, the stance is centered. When you ride it this way, it feels the same way when you ride it this way. It has a feel and flex rating of about a five right in the middle, it's not too soft and not too stiff and it features the EC2 profile shape, which is an easy kind of all-terrain contoured profile shape. There's rocker in between the feet that gives the board a little bit more loose kind of feel with a little bit better float. And then underneath each foot to the raised up contact points, which is a elliptical style camber, you're gonna have precise and effortless style control. Um, it's a great combination of both. So it's not as loose as a BTX profile, but not as aggressive as the C3 camber dominant. It's a little bit, uh, it's kind of like in the, in the middle or so. Um, but one thing that I really like about uh, the profile shape is that it's easy to ride. It really is. The, the raised up contact points, as you see, is balanced well here. Uh, the raised up contact points are less likely to catch when you're riding on really firm snow. You can ride this in deep snow. You can ride this on hard pack, and it's going to perform well. And another great thing about this deck, the Attack Banana, it's been, uh, I don't want to say upgraded because it's had the firepower construction, um, but it has a, a good construction with a lot of really high-tech style materials. Uh, the wood of this deck is actually going to be Aspen and Polonia. Majority of the deck is going to be Aspen. And then there's strips of Polonia that run in between the insert packs and the side, uh, side rails that go like uh, parallel to the deck. Uh, but in addition to that, there's actually birch internal sidewalls that are connected to the ultra high molecular weighted sidewalls. So there's actually three different kinds of wood, majority are aspen and polonia with those thin strips of birch along the edge. And then there's the triax glass on top. Uh, which gives the board a little bit more of a lively feel in biax glass on bottom, which gives it a little bit more smooth, consistent. Um, in addition, um, is actually basalt fibers too at 45 and negative 45 degrees on the top sheet. The, the basalt actually gives the board a little bit more of a rigid torsional style feel uh, without adding a lot of weight. And then there's the base. Now, a lot of people who talk about the TNT base, which the Attack Banana has, um, they're kind of confused by it because a lot of people think it's uh, an extruded base. A lot of people think that it's centered, and LibTech actually says that's kind of a combination of both. But what I can say about the TNT base is, is that it absorbs wax like a centered base, but it's pretty low maintenance like an extruded base. Um, but it's, it's definitely faster than an extruded base if it's waxed, but it's not as fast as a, a full centered base when it's waxed. So it's kind of in the middle, and it, it's a little bit... Uh, less of an expensive style material from what I understand and that allows a really high-end style board to be a little bit lower of a price point uh, with a kind of compromised style base like the TNT. Um, take it as you will, uh, it does absorb wax and it's, yes it's easy to, to maintain. And then of course there's that uh, single radius side cut. Um, the Attack Banana has something called Magna Traction Edges. They're serrated knife-like blade edges. There's actually seven serrations. Uh, they're smaller on the nose and the tail, and they gradually get more aggressive and large as you get in between your feet on the board. The cool part about how Magna Traction feels with the combination of the EC2 profile shape is that it's kind of mellow going into the turn. It, does not, it doesn't like force you into the turn. You can still kind of gradually roll into it. But once you've really set your edge and you're kind of transitioning your weight from your front foot to your back foot as you're exiting out of the turn, it really does grip well. And that's why a lot of people who ride, you know, firm conditions on the East Coast, here in the Midwest, uh, tend to like having magnet traction edges like you find here in this LibTech Attack Banana. Uh, this is a rad deck. Again, a little bit more aggressive than your uh, average deck. Um, rides really well, has effortless style control, and you can check it out 
at thehouse.com by selecting the link below in the description. Uh, leave a comment or a question. Let us know what you think of this thing. This thing has actually done really well over the last, I don't know, like five years or so here at the house. It's one of our top sellers. And it's because it's it rides easy. It's a little bit more aggressive. And uh, hopefully see you guys around on snow, hopefully with this thing. Peace.